Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be briefly looking at the AMD Athlon 200GE processor. This is a dual core part with four threads clocked at 3.2 gigahertz and you can pick it up for around $60. I bought this for a family member who's mainly going to be browsing the net. That's it. Um, you can overclock the CPU as well, but you need a, an MSI motherboard with the chipset B350, B450, X370, and X470 um, chipsets, and also the Agiza Update 1006. All right, so let's go ahead and get to deleting and uh, see how far we can push this thing. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing this the old fashioned way using a vise. One thing that I do want to point out is that as you're applying pressure to the CPU, you want to be um, have you want to have an upward lift there on the PCB so that as the glue becomes to as the glue is starting to become undone, uh, the IHS doesn't run into the components around the, the CPU die. Um, so you want to make sure you keep lifting there on the CPU or on the PCB as you see there. So when the glue becomes undone again, you know, you're able, able to just prevent the IHS from ramming into the uh, components there as you see. Because everything is all pretty close, pretty crammed in there. Um, and also you don't want to bend any pins. So yeah, you want to stay on top of that. All right, so now that we got the hard part out of the way, let's go ahead and clean this thing up and get it uh, prepped up for liquid metal. This little pad that you see here, I got this with Liquid, Liquid Ultra, but you can also find these at a local hardware store. Um, I like to do this with the dies because it creates microscopic scratches or microscopic um, valleys there, there, therefore increasing the surface area and also helps with the um, liquid metal sipping into or bonding, I should say, bonding with the IHS better. That way it's not all uh, dripping around in there. It stays where you basically where you spread it and um, you want that you don't want the stuff running around you know over the capacitors there around the core as you see there because yeah that'll be the end of your CPU one cool thing that thermal grizzly is including now with conducting out is this little microscopic tip here is needle like tip. Um, it is actually a lot better than applying it with the plastic little tip that they used to include before or they still include actually uh, this makes it a lot more simple a lot you know cleaner but you still wanna when you first begin to squeeze this stuff out you don't want to do it over your components you want to do it away from your eyes away from your uh, wherever it is that you're trying to apply this thing because this thing tends to squirt out um, so yeah you want to do it over a piece of paper or you know yeah you don't want to do what I just did here just don't don't yeah don't do this <laughs> but uh, uh, you get the point uh, but yeah it works a lot better uh, you know once you get the stuff to to come out you know it, it's a lot cleaner uh, you can actually have a more control over how much it is applied and whatever you don't want if you uh, exceed the amount that you actually had in mind you can always go back and you know, s you know suck it back in with the needle so yeah pretty handy pretty handy little um uh, tip whatever you want to call that it's a good idea so you don't waste also you don't waste the uh, the liquid metal
All right, so now we're ready to re-glue the IHS back onto the PCB. And uh, how we're gonna do this is uh, we're gonna slowly have this come down over the PCB and apply a little bit of pressure to squeeze out some of the excess glue there. But also you want to make sure that the uh, IHS comes in contact with the, with the CPU die. You don't wanna leave a gap there. So you wanna apply some pressure. And what I actually did is I have this little clamp uh, and I'm gonna show you some some um, some photos here. I have this little plastic clamp that I um, that I use to keep the pressure on the CPU while the glue dries. Uh, and I did this overnight. Um, and also, I forgot to mention you. Why, if you decide to go this route, you can uh, you know to to delete your CPU like this. Uh, you want to do you want to have this plastic uh, the plastic little case where the CPU comes in keep that around because you, you want to use that um, for this for this project here and that way you don't bend your pins and you, know, you just keep your CPU in a safe place but uh, yeah everything's looking good so far uh, and again you want to squeeze out as much of that glue and you know close that cap between the IHS and the die and here's a little clamp that I was telling you guys about uh, this allows me to you know keep that pressure applied overnight so that the glue dries up and you know you have that tight connection there or tight contact and here are the results I actually got a temperature drop of um, 20 degrees Celsius um, we used to be hovering around the high seven days now we're mid 50s after the delete and the overclock so very good uh, very very good improvements Overall, I will be following up pretty soon here guys with uh, benchmarking and you know that sort of thing that you guys want to see uh, But I wanted to get this video out of the way, you know, just to make room I'm behind on a lot of projects that I want to bring to you guys. I just don't have the time, but uh, Anyway, this is what I have for now guys. I hope you enjoyed the video hit thumbs up if you liked it Subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care